Oh, we ain't setting the world on fire, but we're getting a few of them out of there. I don't know if uh, today's Saturday. I don't know if I really have enough to take them to the flea market this weekend, but they've been selling here pretty good. I think we already got rid of uh, two flats that were from, uh, one was from yesterday, one was from today. So, all right, if they sell here, they sell here. I can't take them to the flea market if I'm getting full price here for them, right? It is what it is. But uh, once the blue crop come in, we'll have plenty of them to take to the flea market, that's for sure. But uh, these are the early varieties, Weymouth and Walcott's. So there's not too many of them. I don't have too many, too many of these fields. There's only a couple small ones here. But get what we can get, right? Keep it moving. And yeah, me and Justin went through that storage locker over the last couple days. So the truck is loaded with all good stuff. $50 Harley Davidson boots. Whole bunch of stuff. Bags, old vintage models, and even found a, a flare chucher in there. Some snap-on stuff. This this snap-on punch set right here is like $80 online. It's crazy. So we should have a good day tomorrow at the flea market. I didn't really film it because it was a lot of tedious stuff. So I think we still got like, <clears throat> like five bags of clothes to go through maybe today. Dump them out on the deck. There might be there might be some vintage uh, concert t-shirts in there or at least some band shirts or something because we were running into a lot of uh, 70s and 80s rock music and stuff like that so we'll see tomorrow's the day go make some money oh first time swapping these blades out I guess when you use it as a brush hog, right, makes them dull pretty quick. Uh, 15 sixteenths, if anybody cares to know the size of the nut, size of the bolt. Well, it can all be good, right? First time I ever had this one out. Great. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I have a tap to chase that up into that spindle. Oh, my Lanta. Well, luckily, this old axle bolt sitting here is the same, same thread as this. So, that's good. I got two nuts. I guess I'm going to try to sand this down and get this nut on here and then cut it off short. I don't know what I'm going to do about the spindle. Hopefully it probably totally chooched it, but... That thing ain't never going back on there.
No, it's getting hot. Guess we'll hope it go back into the spindle. Didn't came out super angry, so well, definitely needs to cool off first. Sheesh. Oh, what's that stuff? Just a loop? Just any seeds, but mm. put a little extra on this one. I can't help or not. So looks like we're going to be replacing the tower before the end of the season. Thanks, Jim Bob. Whoever put this in there, whatever your name is. Well, let me try to see if I can put it in with the socket by hand a little bit more. Well, it's going a little bit. I guess we're just going to rail it and see what happens, right? What else can we do? I don't know how to tap that thing. In. It's on there now. Hey, remember that one's got a messed up bolt. <laughs> it's always our luck, right? Doesn't Jeez, matter. Look how dull that thing got. Yeah. This side got really beat up. Those things are almost wasted. That one. Yeah, it depends on what you're hitting. No, I'm just saying, like it's probably not even worth sharpening this one. <laughs> yeah, probably not. That oh well, we'll put. You were showing me. We'll put it. Gouge out of it. it was like put an edge on it. Yeah, well, like I said, when you use it as a brush hog, right? Yeah. Seventeen hours. Look at how much of the fluting is. This is pretty paper, much the same as the other Paper one, right? thin. Paper thin on the fluting, man. Look at this side. Yeah. Blades are bent. Well, not bent, but. I don't know. I'll sharpen them, put them on there one more time, I guess. Yeah. But truthfully, these things are probably. Wasted. Yeah. They probably got like. Eight more hours in them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, what's that? Two days? <laughs> yeah. Well, that ain't the easiest cat to ever get. 